Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Kamani Alana and welcome. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Now this one I just had to try myself because I have seen like mad mixed reviews on this foundation. So I was like, listen, I just gotta get into it for myself. Listen, I'm a big fan of the actual cream stick foundation, um, the Vanish stick foundation they have. I have like, all the sticks, Sunny, have all of them. I got them. There's more to come, but you know, like I'm a huge fan of the sticks. So, of course, it was just natural for me to want to try the new liquid form of the Vanish Seamless Foundation. So, here is the beautiful packaging, same packaging that they pretty much have, just the seamless packaging. It's always in this brown, reflective, sort of mirrored packaging. We're going to go ahead and take this foundation out, and it is in a beautiful glass bottle, kind of keeping true to sort of like that triangle form that they do with a lot of their their product and you have the mirror top here we're pulling this off and then you have a pump which i love a pump sometimes with liquid foundations if they don't have the pump it's irritating when you're trying to get the last bit out it's just like too much so i love that it has a pump so let's go over some of the specs of this foundation so we know what we're getting to and what we're about to work with so on their site it says that it's a highly concentrated formula that delivers instant full coverage it has innovative coated pigments created to smooth long wearing application without drying out the skin. Um, fade proof 24 hour long wearing formula that lasts all day. Oh, okay, 24 hours, we gonna question that one, okay? And then I also wanna let you guys know what this is formulated without. So it is alcohol free, paraben free, no sulfates, no talc, and it has not been tested on animals, which means they are a cruelty free brand yes hourglass let's do it and it's also available in 32 shades which is amazing now one thing that i do know about hourglass which i've always been a big fan of which i'm so happy they were one of the first brands not only that came out with a wide range of shades but they came down and really took care and made sure that them undertones were right like literally anything that i've used any um foundations that i've used by hourglass has always been on point especially going into the deeper tones like i have no problems with their stuff it's always on point it's never too red never too yellow their stuff doesn't gray out thank the lord jesus their foundations don't oxidize not any of them thus far but we're gonna get into the liquid foundation of the Vanish series to see if that's the case for this foundation as well. Okay guys, so I am in the color Golden Amber, and so we're gonna start this out, honey, because I just wanna see how many pumps it's gonna take. Now, it says it should really only take one pump for a full coverage face, like I said, instant full coverage. So let's go in and let's pump her out. Now it's brand new, so we're gonna have to pump, 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 pump. Here she comes. That's one, I think that was like a half of one, so we'll just take a full one right there. So you see, that's all that I have on my hand here, which oh, it's just such a beautiful golden yellow undertone there. So first I'm gonna start out with using a brush to apply the foundation to this side of my face, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use a beauty blender to apply the foundation on this side of my face. I just wanna see how well the foundation applies with each tool and see if I like one better and just see how it all flows together. So let's start with my straight brush from Makeup Forever, and I'm literally just tapping into it just a little bit. I heard she thick, so Let's just see what it is. So I am just going to just apply on this side. And I'm just gonna go right here. Okay, so I'm already seeing, woohoo! Let's see what that was, okay. So I'm just gonna, ooh! Do y'all see, oh! Ooh, she thick! My God, wow, okay. And as you guys saw, I pretty much did maybe like a like a pump and a baby on top of that, okay? And I'm really just doing half of my face here, but, ooh, child. Okay, she full coverage. Like, there, I can't even, mm, mm There is no question about that. She is full coverage. And I mean full coverage, honey. Now, as you can see, I just have a, just a couple blemishes here that I would have to come in and just like spot check on. But as far as getting this all over the face, as you guys can see how much product I still have left on my hand here to get through the rest of my face. And that's just a brush. I like the fact that this spreads really, really nicely and really silky with just the brush. So it is pretty much 
exploding across my face really really nicely and my color is right on point if y'all don't see it look at this oh look at this color yes since we're still using my brush i'm gonna just tap into that just a little bit and i'm literally just gonna spot check i mean when i tell you i'm using very little like i i mean look at that little bit that i just tapped in and it's still i'm just blending this out for my for my blemishes that i have here but oh my god that's like okay and it's also it looks like it's pretty moisturizing it doesn't look like it's gonna dry out my skin either because a lot a lot of times when you have a foundation that has the sulfates in it those minerals that's when it starts to dry out your skin so okay so that was with the brush which i really liked how this foundation really moved seamlessly ha with the brush so now we're gonna go into the beauty blender and i have this much product left on my hand here if you can kind of see it and let's just go in now with the beauty blender i'm really just gonna try to wipe it here only because beauty blenders man they soak up product like crazy so let's see how the beauty blender works on this side of my face and i can already tell like i'm not going to get very far with this beauty blender because it just soaked up that product and mind you this is a full coverage foundation so as you can see how far i got with the brush uh, the foundation brush but look how i'm not getting very far with this beauty blender like i would have to pump a little bit more obviously to get you know further with the beauty blender so i have nothing left on my hand here so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna come in and i'm just gonna do maybe like a baby i'll just do a full pump we'll just see what that is so that's really the equivalent of a full a full pump here i don't think i'll need that much but i just need a little bit extra when it comes to this beauty blender because beauty blenders honey i love a beauty blender but sometimes when you want your product to last <laughs> Beauty Blender is not the one, oh, Beauty Blender. Anyway, sometimes when you're using the Beauty Blender, which is most of the time, it don't wanna last, honey. Okay, so now that I've gotten it in here, now I just tapped, you know, the Beauty Blender to the foundation just a little bit. So now it's, it's going somewhere. But clearly I had to use a little bit more product for this Beauty Blender than I did for the brush here. I'm just gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender just a little bit here. And as you can see, like my Beauty Blender pretty much soaked up this whole pump. So if I wanna do any spot checking, which I need to do, I pretty much need to take up that full pump. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I just have little problem areas on my cheek here. I just took a little bit more foundation just to spot check here. Now both tools are definitely applying the foundation beautifully i see a little bit of a difference and i'll let you guys know what that is i feel like with the beauty blender because you have to get the beauty blender wet so it has to be a moisture for it to really work i'm just seeing sort of the separation and i don't feel like i really got the coverage when i spot checked like how i did on this side of my face like this side of my face just blended out so well it's really adhering to my skin there. So I feel like I may be the moisture that's in the Beauty Blender because as you guys can see, I didn't rub the Beauty Blender. I stippled the Beauty Blender. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it really is sort of breaking up a little bit in here. So it didn't, even with the spot check, when I went back in with foundation, it's not giving me the spot check that I, I was hoping for because after I already saw this side, I was like, ooh. So I feel like with the, beauty blender with this particular foundation what it is doing is applying it but then soaking it back off my face so it's like it's here but then it's like soaking it back off so it's not adhering the way that I would like to now maybe you can combine your brush and your beauty blender so if you want to go into areas like for me and my forehead I do, that's not really a trouble area for me or my nose and through here through under my eyes that's not a trouble area so maybe you can do that through you know the areas that you may not need like a full beat full coverage like that but when you come in and then you need that extra wherever you have problems areas um like for me it's my cheeks you may just want to come in maybe with the brush take a little bit with the brush and then just sort of like stipple the product on where you have 
you know, problematic areas. Now, as I've already applied my foundation, my skin is warming up, I did notice it is not oxidizing, okay? Now listen, my skin tone is pretty tricky because I promise you my skin tone, my undertones, like change every other day. It's a hot mess, I know. So I literally probably have about five different colors and foundation no matter what brand it is. It's just, I, that's just my life, okay? That's just what it is. But what I do love about this foundation, it is true to color, honey. So when it says what that color is, that's what it is. No oxidation, which I am excited about. It's not graying out whatsoever. And like I said, it is, it is true to tone. I'm gonna put some concealer on. I'm gonna keep moving. Um, and we'll see what happens. Let the uh, foundation sit on for a little bit longer and let's just see how we feel about it. So let's stick with some Hourglass products and let's see how my Retouching Veil by Hourglass, and this is in the color Sand. Let's see how this works. Now this one is definitely a very light coverage, but I just wanna see as I pull it out into the foundation how it works, if it's going to you know, pull the product from my face or if I need to just stick with, um, because this is a full coverage foundation, if I need to stick with a full coverage concealer. Or, you know, hey, if you want full coverage in just certain areas and then under your eyes, you don't want it to be that thick and uh, you want to keep it a little bit lighter, then this is why I'm trying this method. I mean, we all know I love a little bit more full coverage, child, but uh, we're going to try this for today. And then I'm just like literally probably maybe do a second coat in here because I have deep and set eyes here, as you can see, like all up in here, honey. So I like to make sure that I'm covering all of that. So we'll just see where we're at. We'll see if we need to add a little bit more of this veil, concealer, retouching veil, or if we need to go in with just a little bit of a thicker um, concealer, which means like even if we come in with a thicker concealer, we may only need to just kind of like do an overlay just to kind of come in and just touch a little bit or just hit right in this area right here. So what I like to do with um, the Veil Retouching Fluid is I like to let it dry down a little bit. And then once I let it dry down, I really like to use my fingers. It really just warms up the product. It moves it so, just so seamlessly. And then also it really just stipples the product into my skin, especially since this is such a, what's true, it is a veil. It's like a veil of concealer. Now this one definitely isn't as thick as like the NARS Soft Matte Concealer or like the Tarte Shape Tape, which we shouldn't even be talking about them because I canceled them. So let, okay, cancel Tarte. We're not even talking about them. We'll just go back to NARS because we don't, okay. <laughs> we don't do Tarte. Thank you. So with this one, I am going to also go in as I'm letting it dry down under my eyes a little bit. I'm just gonna go here a little bit. I'm gonna come down the bridge of my nose and we're just gonna come up just a little bit here. I just wanna see how this really sort of blends in with a full coverage foundation. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take a little bit in here. I like to get my laugh lines because honey, like, I don't know, what is that? I need to get like the injections or something. I don't know, I wanna go there, but a lot of times my makeup likes to sit and crease right in these areas. So this is the areas where I gotta like add just a little love, just an extra love and care in here, and then pat and set her down, honey. I'm trying to wait before I have to go do all that. I mean, I don't wanna have to really go do all that, but child, you know, I guess a little touch up here and there and you know, keeps you together. Okay, so it's probably been about two, three minutes. So I'm gonna go right under. And let's feel it, oh, poke myself in the eye. We're just gonna go right in here and just use my fingers. I don't wanna use the sponge on this one because with this product, that sponge is gonna soak all of this up, honey. Look at the coloring on this though. This is in the color sand. I just wanna make sure how well it's blending in with the full coverage foundation here. Because even if sometimes you want a little bit more full coverage in your problematic areas, doesn't mean you want it all like, Back to the gods <laughs> under your eyes sometimes because sometimes your eye can't handle it. Maybe you had some wine the night before, maybe you was on that tequila, honey. All I know is sometimes you don't need to go that heavy. It's moving really well though. It doesn't look like it's pulling the foundation because of it being so liquidy. Your best tools are your fingers. Listen, if you don't got a beauty sponge, if you don't have a brush that you can put your foundation on or your concealer, use that finger, honey. It'll get you where you need to go. I'm gonna go back in with another straight brush. It's very light, feathery. 
and I'm just going to, I mean, lightly just go over. There's no product on the brush. I just wanna make sure that I am just making sure this is all sort of even, just a little bit. So I'm really just feathering the product out just a little bit. Just for my personal preference, it looks beautiful right now, but I just know me. So I'm just gonna go in just a little, I'm just gonna hit up just, just like right in here. I'm gonna go a little bit down the side of my nose just to do like a little extra contour because what I will say is this retouching veil is highlighting really, really well. If you guys can just see, and it's just like giving me like a beautiful, a gorgeous glow. So I already have a natural highlight already going on here. So I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my feather brush. This has been sitting just for a minute or so, and I'm just gonna lightly just pull this out a little bit. See what I'm saying? I just needed that little bit of just extra like, Ting. Like it was beautiful before, but I just needed that like boop, you know, that little like extra like boop boop. So I'm just patting it in a little bit, just making sure everything is just like really, really even. Now here's another thing I noticed though, how I know this color is on point, the shade is on deck. If you can tell, I really did not have to go down my neck to make sure there was no line of separation, okay? See what I'm talking about? Like yes, okay, I'm about that life. Okay, now we're gonna go in with another product by Hourglass. We're gonna go in with the Veil Translucent Powder. Now I'm just gonna flip that over, we're gonna do this. I just wanna see how all these products work together, cause they should, right? So um, if you guys have not tried this powder, I highly suggest it. It's beautiful, it's silky, it's moisturizing, it's really, really great, and it's this beautiful golden yellow undertone. You can't beat it, it's amazing. And then I'm also gonna go in with my, I believe this is the Veil Powder Brush here, so we're gonna do that. And I'm really just gonna, and she's finally milled, honey. So you really have to like tap that off. Y'all can see the smoke. The smoke is coming through. And I'm just gonna see how this is gonna set all of this foundation down, okay? Now one thing that I know about this powder with my other foundations, it sets it down really, really nice. And as you can see, it's keeping the color of my foundation. It's not lightening up my foundation at all. This is actually a universal powder, so I'm very particular when it comes to universal powders because it'll say that, but it ain't. So even when you see universal powders, a lot of them will be in light, medium, dark, or even uh, deeper than dark. But with this Hourglass, it's just one universal powder. So I was like, okay, Hourglass, we're gonna see about that. You're telling me this is going to set down any girl from porcelain all the way to espresso? Okay. Okay, especially with any of my deeper skin girls, myself and going deeper, honey, it could be a hot mess, honey. It could be a catastrophe. But with this one, it was not. I was pleasantly happy and surprised about that with this powder. Now, I'll be honest, this powder is not the best for baking and like really setting under your eyes or any creases where you just, you need your bake to be all the way at 375 and come out in 20 minutes and everything is done, crispy on the top, soft on the inside, that's not this powder for you. That's why it's called the Veil <laughs> Translucent Powder. Like it sets like, you know, the outside of the outer core of the face and it's beautiful and it just keeps it like glowy and luminous at the same time. But if you want a bake, which that's me all day, because I need to make sure none of my eyes are creasing under here, because that's number one, we're not having no creasy eyes like that, then we gotta do the backup plan, which is the Laura Mercier powder. So this one is gonna get me down. This is her translucent powder. So I really just use Laura Mercier a lot of times, just under my eyes and right here to just set my stuff here. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender here. I'm just gonna make sure there's no creases. Just kinda blur those out and then I'm just gonna come underneath here and bake, but only for like, and I mean just a couple minutes because I'm, like I said, I've been really dry under my eyes. So I just wanna make sure that I'm not letting this bake too long because then that just defeated the whole purpose of me using the veil fluid here as my concealer. Okay, let's go ahead and just stipple her into the skin here. And also the Laura Mercier powder also has a nice yellow tint to it as well. So you're still gonna get that going and it's not gonna just take it out. So you kind of see 
Ooh, you see how it just flows and then it goes into the golden. Yes, I love it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go off camera really quickly. I'm just gonna finish my eyes. I'm gonna do a conservative glam, which is basically just gonna be a little mascara, little lip, little blush. I'm gonna keep it like really, really like, just pretty and simple today, um, cause it's all about the foundation. So I will be right back to give you my thoughts on this Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation. So we're back. I didn't even put lashes on. I was like, let's just put this mascara on, a little lip gloss, keep it pushing. So my final thoughts on this foundation, uh, love it. Like it's really, really nice. I had anticipated it being really, really great. I saw the mixed reviews on it. So I was a little scared like, oh, okay, Hourglass, like you've been doing good, but you are not doing good no more. I don't know what's going on. I think it's all in the way that you apply it. So using the Beauty Blender for me, I wouldn't really use that for this foundation. With this, it was just sort of breaking up in like my cheek area especially when i went in and i spot checked um it was just like breaking up a little bit more so i didn't particularly care for that but when i used my brush my foundation brush it worked really and i mean look at that it worked really beautifully and then also it says that you're only supposed to use one pump and it covers all the face a brush will do that for you a beauty blender will not a brush you'll use one pump a beauty blender, you're gonna use at least like a full pump and a half to two pumps to get your whole mug together. And for me, I'm not really about wasting product like that. This foundation retails for $56. So you are trying to save every pump you got in here, okay? So if you only need to use one pump and it's all about the actual tool that you're using to put on your face to stick to that, then you need to stick to a brush. As you guys can see, it is a seamless finish the undertone is on point but as you can see i didn't have to come down my neck to like blend everything i mean it just i mean come on i mean who does that like there is no separation which i love so so much so as far as this foundation would i highly recommend it yes i would we all know i'm a fan of hourglass but at the end of the day when it comes to any particular item there's a lot of brands out there that i like one item but i can't stand the other items do you know i feel like you know, it just depends on item by item basis. So just so you guys know, I'm giving you my honest and true opinion on the foundation. Now for the price point, listen, I know that Hourglass is high end. I, it would be nice if they brought it down a little bit, maybe to like $45. But I also understand that when you're taking away sort of the bad stuff, when you're getting more into cruelty free, vegan and things like that, it costs more to make it. So um, if any of you guys out there are vegan or when you're just trying to eat healthy, you notice you pay a lot more for food, correct? It's just more expensive. So when you're trying to get more on a clean beauty regimen and you know hourglass is one of the first brands that started and is on the clean beauty wave um meaning that you're taking out a lot of things what it's made without so you're not um breaking out perhaps which with this foundation i knew it was going to be great because with the venice foundation sticks i don't break out so with that said I can probably understand why it's at $56. You know, maybe in the future, like stuff can start coming down, but it is really expensive to kind of get a little bit more healthier, healthier eating, healthier makeup, um, you know, better skincare products. It just costs more, but it's worth it. Trust me, you don't want to be breaking out. Okay, you don't want rashes on your face. You don't want all kind of things going on with your skin. So I know for me, it is completely worth spending that money. So really, what I look at it as is this is just, you know, for all of those, you know, people out there that love the foundation stick, but it was maybe a little bit too heavy cause she thick, honey, she real thick and, or prefer a liquid foundation, then this is perfect. It's looking really, really nice. It doesn't look flat either. It doesn't look like, you know, like I powdered down cause I did use, you know, the veil powder, which I wanted to see how that works with it. And it works with it really, really nice. Listen, it says it does what it's supposed to do. One pump, full coverage boom i mean what else do you need in life just say thank you guys so much for watching this i appreciate you guys coming through and if you're new to my channel then don't forget to hit the subscribe button would really really appreciate it also don't forget to hit your notification button so you never miss a video by miss alana over here okay also don't forget to sound off below and leave your comments i love to hear what you guys have to say and what you guys are thinking and how i can make this experience better for you honestly so until next time I'll see you guys on the next video. Mwah.